Hey y'all, this is your host, Alexis Lawson, and you're tuned in to Her Black Hand, the podcast, where we talk about everything and everything goes. Hey everybody, this is your host, Alexis Lawson, and welcome to Her Black Hand, the podcast. I am a, I would say, medium brown skin woman with a red French tip manicure. I am wearing a gray and white Sherpa Simply Southern sweater with gray leggings and currently a black bonnet. I am 4'11", I have 4C kinky curly hair, and I am currently wearing clear round glasses. This is a podcast that I have been wanting to start for ever i used to do this series on my youtube channel a couple years ago called let's talk tuesday and it got a lot of like feedback people was really like messing with it they was replying commenting sharing it and one day i just stopped but i literally enjoy talking about things and i always have a million topics on my brain that like i want to talk about but like i'm never around anybody especially during coronavirus for most of the pandemic i've been by myself until i started working so what better way to talk to people and to literally just talk to myself in my bedroom than to start a podcast so i guess the first thing that i'll talk about is how the name came to be her black hand so her black hand is actually my writing instagram it was the first piece or first platform that I actually decided to put some of my work. When I published my first book, The Beauty of My Bare Bones, I had no idea what to do pertaining to marketing, pertaining to how to get the word out of there. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna start an Instagram. But to say that, I was very nervous to start that Instagram. I didn't know what I was doing. I had a personal Instagram, of course, but I didn't know what to do pertaining to like business wise and I was brainstorming names and I had a whole bunch of other names that I didn't really like but I really liked her black hand and so I pitched it to a couple of my friends and I was like yeah what y'all think about this name and they were just like "Mm, mm." and I was like man I don't care what y'all say I love this name and to this day I am so happy that I decided to go with that name I think it just embodies everything that I'm trying to express um, about my personality through my writing and not only through my writing but through my presence like her black hand my writing is about the black life black culture black experience and I never want that to be muddied in whatever I'm doing I want it to always be apparent that this is what I do yes I have the ability to do other things but this is what I do and so when the thought of starting this podcast came about I was like I could think of another name but I really love her black hand it is very dear to my heart and I'm just going to keep it. We're going to do Her Black Hand, the podcast. Why not figure out a million things that we can do with this name that I created, this brand that I created for myself being Her Black Hand. So that's how Her Black Hand came about. And I am just so excited to see where Her Black Hand leads me and wherever it does lead me, I'm willing to go. And I'm just excited for all the opportunities that it may present, all the people that I may meet, and especially with this podcast, all the people that I may reach. So we're going to be talking about books, poetry, short stories, lyrics from music that we listen to, lyrics from music that we don't necessarily gravitate towards, and how they are speaking to things that are going in, going on in our lives and things that we don't necessarily talk about and how we don't sit with certain thoughts that we have throughout the day and they kind of just get pushed to the side and never brought back up. This is where I want to have those conversations, the thoughts that come in the middle of the day that we don't have enough time to sit down and pick apart. I want to talk about the things that are constantly affecting people in our generation, people who's not in our generation, how growing up as 20 years old, I feel like I have to have everything all together or just experiencing love through the eyes of a 20 year old experience in life as a 20 year old college graduate which is not something that's very common you know what I mean so this is just a space where I just want to talk about all the things that I love and help you love more things that are available to you because it's crazy how many people I meet that cannot tell me the last book that they read or if I say like a very common author that I think that everybody should know they're like oh who is that and I just take those moments as teaching lessons like Oh, let me put you on. Let me show you what you're missing in this life. Because I think a lot of people think of books and reading as boring when they don't realize that the books and they're reading are movies that they're watching. And it's just another form of escape into different worlds. Do you know how many worlds are out there on the printed page that we have yet to discover and explore? When you're sitting there reading a book or when you're reading a poem or when you're reading a short story or even when you're listening to a song, 
you're escaping into another world that is not your own. You're reading somebody's thoughts, somebody's imagination created into this big masterpiece, no matter how big or how little it is. And I think that is so amazing and it's just so mind blowing how many people, one, do not take advantage of that resource and don't take advantage of their privilege of one, having the access to books and having the knowledge of comprehension and reading because not everybody knows how to read. Not everybody can comprehend what they're reading and not everybody has access to books or printed words. And that's something that we all need to realize and take advantage of and recognize the privilege that we have. So that is something that I'm like very passionate about and it wasn't always that way from a young age. My mom always had me writing book reports, even when it wasn't for homework, reading this book, because she was an avid reader. And for a long time, since my mom always forced me to do it, I never wanted to do it until I got a little bit older. And I was just like, I have so much time on my hand. Let me pick up a book. And then once I finished that book, it was like, yeah, I'm gonna pick up another book until I discovered that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be the creator of a million worlds and people's lives. I wanted to tell the narrative that nobody told for me. Growing up, I never saw a black girl being the main character of a book. And even now at 20 years old, mainly the stories that I read, the black woman is not the victor. And I wanna write the story that the black woman is the victor. I wanna write the story that the black people can have love without struggle. I wanna write the story of happiness and pure joy without oppression and struggle being the basis of where it came from that's the story that i wanted to write and had i not been forced or encouraged to read the books that i didn't necessarily wanted to read i don't think that passion for words and passion for storytelling and passion for just speaking and letting people hear what i have to say would have come about and i am very grateful so shout out to you mom (laughs) for always pushing me to do the things that I really didn't want to do and how they're just revealing themselves in my 20th year. That's something that I'm also going to be talking about a lot on the podcast of how it is like growing up and how it is so much different from how we thought. Like this is just an open space. I want people to send in topics that you want me to talk about. If you have a question, comment, you want to share a scenario, it's going to be a form for that so y'all can submit that to me. And we're going to have specific days or specific episodes where we do shout those individuals out so we can talk about it because there's nothing like having something on your brain and not having someone to tell or someone having someone to talk through it with. And I've learned that a lot, especially over this last quarantine year because, you know, we're coming up on a year of quarantine. I've learned that sometimes I cannot hold everything to myself. Sometimes I have to literally process it out loud. I literally have to say, okay, so I did this and I did this and I thought this because of this. Because although I write it down, sometimes my mind goes so fast that I don't get the chance to write every single little thing down. But when I'm talking, I can just talk it out. Even if it don't make sense in that moment, I'm talking it out, working around every situation, every way. And If I can help somebody else do that or I can speak the words and somebody else can't find the words to say, then that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to do it in this podcast. And that is going to be that. So if you're ready to dive deeper and have a little conversation with me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified every time a new episode is released. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram so that you can be notified of updates, new releases, and more. I guess this is it for this one. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.